Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be going through the installation process of Elixar's film screen protector on the new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The process will take no longer than 5 minutes to complete. After the screen protector has been applied, I will give an honest review of the overall look and performance of the screen protector. Before applying any screen protector I would always recommend turning off your phone, just so the display doesn't keep activating during the application. I would also suggest removing your fingerprint and then reapplying it after the film has been placed. All of the tools that are needed to apply the film to your display will come with the protector. This includes application card, dust remover sticker and guide stickers, wet wipes and a microfiber cloth. To start the process we will need to ensure that the display of your device is spotless. So in order to do so, take the wet wipe and thoroughly clean the display of your device to abolish any dirt or grease from your screen. Now, using the microfiber cloth, remove any excess liquid that may be left over from the wet wipe. The last stage of cleaning is the dust remover sticker. Repeatedly dab the screen with the sticker to ensure there is no dust. If dust was to get in between the protector and your screen, it will ruin your phone's appearance post application. With this done, we can now turn our attention to applying the film. Pull back the tab that is labelled 1. By doing this, you will expose only a small amount of the adhesive. Carefully match up this area to the top of your handset. Use the front camera lens to help you. Then run the application card smoothly along the film whilst holding the film horizontal, allowing the film to seamlessly detach from the plastic and attach to your phone's display. When it is completely attached, use the application card to firmly wipe over the film to make sure it is fitted securely. It is time to take off label two. Do this slowly and gently as you do not want the film to lift along with it. If there are any bubbles visible, carefully push them from the centre outwards using the microfiber cloth. Do not use the application card as it will damage the ever so thin film. Wipe the edges to ensure they will not lift over time. Your phone screen is now protected from scratches, allowing you to withhold the pristine condition of your valuable handset long after purchasing. As a result of the film's oleophobic coating, it reduces the chance of fingerprints being visible on your display. So it's not only protecting your phone, but it is also helping to keep your phone looking immaculate. I have found there to be no issues in the response rate of the phone post application, enabling you to use your note pen to its full potential, as well as allowing me to use the new features that this device has to offer without experiencing any delays. This also goes for the fingerprint reader. There is no interference when accessing the phone in this particular way. If you tend to unlock your phone through face recognition, you will experience no issues. The front camera lens is cut out on the film so the camera can be used as like before. After the film has been installed, it goes unnoticed, allowing you to keep your phone protected without any eyesore attached to your device. The film doesn't jeopardise the weight or size of the phone, though if you are prone to dropping your device, I would definitely suggest using a case to add further more protection, as the film protector is unlikely to combat heavy impact collisions. If you did want to add your favourite case, there will be no issues and it will not affect the edges of the film allowing you to flaunt some of the best new cases that are available to this phone. The film is crystal clear, which means you can see the full potential of the magnificent quality of your phone screen when watching movies from your device. When first applied, I do feel a slight friction from the film, which may cause some frustration when placing it into your pocket, though over time the friction does wear off. I feel the installation process was fairly easy, considering the results of the final product. Film is slightly tricky to apply, but I believe this method made it simple and easy. It does have to be completed with patience. The overall performance of the handset is not affected after the film has been applied, causing no obstruction to the functions of the phone. This is the perfect way to protect your handset from the minor scruffs and scrapes of everyday use. Though if you are clumsy with your phone, I wouldn't recommend this being your only protection and would suggest furthering the protection with a case. If you would like this form of screen protection for your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I have posted the link as to where you can find it in the description and comments below. Let me know in the comment section what your favourite screen protector is. For more content regarding tech reviews and mobile accessories, please hit our subscribe button. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.